Listen, man, racism, first off, when a person is racist, that's an insecurity. You must love my shade of skin. You must love my blackness. You must love my lightness. You must love my whiteness. Whatever it is, because black people can be racist too. No matter what racism it is, you got to look at it as flattery. You're racist. Like the Racism cannot affect promotion. Let me tell you something. You can be racist to me all day. You can be whatever to me all day. Ain't nothing under the sun that can that can hinder me from being uh, promoted. So you can be like, listen, if you want to be racist to me, if you want to be mad at me, if you want to be conniving, if you want to be, do you know that you're going to have to watch me eat at the table that God is preparing before you? So all you got to do is keep your joy. Like the, the, the moment you allow any demonic, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You're not wrestling against that person. You're wrestling against the racism in that person. And so when you understand that there's a spirit in that person, an indoctrinating mindset in that person, you got to look at it like, man, you love me. You want to be me. You want to you wanna be my shade of color. You want to be me. And when you understand that, then you can still walk lovingly. Like, 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 it don't matter who, like, it don't, it don't matter where I am. When people don't speak to me, when I speak to them, I, I keep it moving. I do not allow somebody's negativity to affect my positivity or affect my money or affect my family. Right? So how do you deal with racism? You don't deal with the racism. Racism has already been dealt with on the cross. You don't deal with racism. That has already been dealt with. What you do is you keep making deals in joy. You keep being happy. You keep being loving because your loving, that better emotion, will will, will help <clears throat> bring the motion to erase all that commotion of racism in that person. Or if not, they're going to they're gonna have to be the one to watch you get promoted. But if you start dealing with the racism or acting extra towards that person to try to convince them not to be racist or try to prove to them that you're worth being loved, no, because no matter what you do, they ain't going to like you. And if they don't like you, keep being like you. <laughs> because maybe being like you may make them one day be like you in a loving way. So don't make deals with racism. Racism has already been dealt with on the cross. I don't make deals with something that's already been dealt with by God. I keep it moving. I don't got time to make deals with demons. I don't got time to, because demons will drain your energy. Demons will use that racism to drain your, your energy to, 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 to uh, uh, affect your focus on the job. And it, then it becomes a weight. Oh, now you giving that racism spirit a power. Never make demons feel that they can that they can affect you. Don't give them that luxury. What I mean by that is this: I never, if I see a demon operative operating in a person, I never give that person the idea or the demon the idea that they can now use their ideology of racism against me. I keep walking in love. I keep, but don't give them your attention. What you do is this: is how you do. You, with how, this is how you deal with them on the job. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Keep moving. If you got to work with them on a project, work with them on a project. But keep being loving. And if you know that you got to go into a place where the person is racist, you got to make sure you erase this from the racist. What I mean by that, you got to erase all thoughts towards that person negatively. You got to erase all the negative emotions from it. You got to begin um, to, to enjoy who God is to you and the promotion he's giving you. But I promise you, if that person stays racist long enough, they're going to have you, they're going to have to watch you eat your lobster tail. They're going to have to watch you eat your steak and potatoes. They're going to have to watch the table that God's prepared for you and let God prepare it for you because maybe the preparation of the table might be the very thing that may bring them to the table to repent towards you and, be, and you brought your brother and sister into the fold. Okay. But don't let that stuff bother you, man. Because racism, man, you must want to be me, fam. That's cool. You you want this chocolate skin. You 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 know what I'm saying? You want to jump like me. <laughs> you want to you want to rock like me. You want to you want to you want to you want to do what I do. And it's not, not just racism, it's envy, jealousy of all types. You just want to be me, fam, and that's cool. But I don't got time leaving me to see how I can get you, you know, to understand me. I don't got time. That's too much energy. 